Okay, today this is my first attempt okay, of this video. What I'm going to show you now right, is that I'm in my toilet and this is my kimchi. Oh. They call it what, pomato or something. Like, I don't know what, golden comfort. Ah. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to clean my kimchi. Oh. So, uh, what I use is this knife that I love. Okay, this is a knife that I, I I got recommendation from the YouTuber Fish Dream. It's a very uh, amazing knife. Okay, it's very different from the Deba knife that the Japanese use, but uh, it's very good at cutting the fish and cleaning the fish. But for kimchi, it's very easy because normally there's not a lot of skill, and people will remove the skin after they cook. So we can skip the deskewing process. But a bit special is that because my wife right don't dare to look at the head and the tail of the fish so I will have to clean the fish nicely until it looks like a piece of meat <laughs> okay so let's go firstly I have to say that I'm not a pro okay I'm just a recreational uh, fish cleaner I don't have a cutting board, uh, I'm very lazy one, you know. So I just want to make cleaning of fish very easy. What I do is I remove the head first huh? So if you're scared of blood right don't watch huh? For other videos uh, I may show you how I fillet it la. But for this I try not to fillet it because the meat is not, not like a lot uh. So I, I normally don't fillet a kimchi uh, So that I can preserve more meat Unlike the snappers and the kimono so I do this right to keep my kitchen clean uh, to be frank as in my toilet clean so I actually minimize the dirtiness of my toilet Normally when I bring the fish back, I, I will keep it in the fridge. I won't clean it first. Because after you keep it in the fridge, uh, then you when you defrost it, uh, when it's still cold, right, it's easier to clean and it's not so smelly. Yeah. So later I will wash this part where the blood is. And now I'm going to basically remove the tail first. You realize that I try not to uh, use my knife lah, because uh, 
my knife I use it to actually trim the meat fillet the meat I don't want to uh, destroy the sharpness of it Okay, now nah, I see. Not pro, bro. Normally I use the scissors, lah. My ladies will go out and take now. So I just want to clear this part. Okay. So that is, can go into the harvest and the steamer easily. So that's it for my kimchi roll. Then I will just put it in and cook like this. Okay, I don't discue because after I cook, I remove the skin. But you can see that actually kimchi roll still have a bit, a bit. I don't think some people say it's not, but to me this is still like a bit of skill. But anyway, I'm gonna remove it later after I cook, so I don't really care. So thank you. Bye, we will show you the cooking process after this, okay? Stay tuned. Okay, now I'm going to show you uh, how a newbie cook his golden comfort. So this is what I watch online, okay? Online says that we have to dry the fish. It cannot be wet one. So I'm going to take a tape, a wet shoe towel and dry the fish. That is my not so good looking dinner but it should taste good so that's it for today's video a bit boring but I hope you enjoy it that's how I cook my pond fish bye bye